Defining what is living and what is non-living is a very difficult task. Not all scientists agree on a common list of characteristics of life. Then there is the consideration of things that were once living and are not living any longer. We are going to discuss seven characteristics of living organisms. The first characteristic is movement. All living things move in some way. This may be obvious. Animals are able to walk and fish are able to swim. Movement may be less obvious. Plants have parts that move to track the movement of the sun. Respiration is a chemical reaction that happens within cells to release energy from food. We are familiar with animals breathing, but plants respire just as animals do. They give out carbon dioxide and absorb oxygen from the air that surrounds them. This is mainly done through leaves, the stem, the roots, and even the flowers. Sensitivity is the ability to detect changes in the surrounding environment and to respond to them. When you touch something hot, you move your hand away as a reflex. Humans have five senses, sight, hearing, touch, smell, and taste. Plants respond to fewer stimuli. Gravity, light, and water are the main ones. Beans, for example, will twine around a support as they grow. All living things grow. During growth, most living things go through a cycle of change called development. Living things obtain energy from their environment and use that energy to grow, develop, and reproduce. Living things can reproduce or produce new organisms of the same type. Reproduction passes genetic information on to their offspring. Plants produce seeds. Bacteria can reproduce at an alarming rate. Excretion is getting rid of wastes. All plants and animals produce harmful substances due to a number of metabolic activities occurring in their bodies. In higher animals, excretory organs are skin, lungs, liver and kidneys. Excretion is carried out in plants in a couple of ways. The gaseous wastes, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water are removed through the leaves and stem. Some waste products collect in the leaves and barks of trees. When leaves and barks are shed, the wastes are eliminated. All living organisms require the intake and use of nutrients. This occurs in very different ways in different kinds of living things. Humans consume food and water. Some plants can consume insects. Most plants get nourishment from the soil. If something exhibits one or just a few of the characteristics, it does not necessarily mean that it is living. For example, fires grow, but flames are not considered living things. To be considered alive, an object must exhibit all of the characteristics of living things.